Hello and welcome back to the channel. Um, this is going to be a video on React Native, specifically Expo Router, which the idea here is they're providing the ability to do file-based routing in your React Native application. And as they said, the goal here is to eventually have a router that can work on, um, what did they say, web, iOS, and Android. So basically, you can use the router everywhere. Um, I don't believe this is the final release yet. Um, let's take a look over here to GitHub. What does it say? Yeah, um, st this is just stable version one, and I think they're a long way from where they're trying to go. Um, I won't say long way, but I don't. It's it's not there yet, and they know it's not there yet. So what I've done is through googling around and looking at the demos and the documentation. I built a tab-based app. And so this is my app here. I built a tab-based app and I integrated authentication. It's, it's just um, a simple flag for authentication, but uh, it allows you to log in and then um, go to a details page inside of one of my tabs, um, present the modal, and uh, to switch between different tabs, Uh, to log out and well, I guess I didn't oh that's just a button I was pl I was playing with loading fonts and stuff um, that's you can log out and then it navigates back to the home screen so that's what I have um, I'm just gonna walk through the code here I'm not gonna type this all up <clears throat> and I'll post a repo in the description so you can you know take this play with it and maybe use it as a start of something for yourself um, <clears throat> Just a couple of things I'm using. If I scroll, can I scroll down here? Let me put my head over here. Oh, that's not my head. Let me move myself to over here for now. Um, one thing I have a simple store that's holding whether or not the user is logged in. And for that, I am using uh, Pull State. I'll include a link for that also. But other than that, this is pure React Native using Expo Router. And so we'll start at the top, which is at the index. And there's a lot going on here in the index because here's where I'm determining if the user is logged in or not. And so this use segments allows you to find segments in the, fi in the uh, file route. I um, mean, obviously the router, this is my authentication store, which lets me know if the user is logged in or logged out. And this navigation state was something that I found, <clears throat> which basically the idea is to make sure that the navigator's loaded before I attempt to determine if the user's logged in and logged out and redirect them to a different route. So what I do, what you do is you get this navigation state key and if it's not there, then you know it's not ready. If it is, then my uh, use effect is called. Inside my use effect, I check to see if the user is logged in or not. That's the value I'm getting from my auth store. And then this auth group that uses the segments. And the, what I'm determining is, is the route that I'm trying to go to in the auth group or not? Um, because if it's in the auth group, then we just want to let them through if, whether or not they're logged in. And so here, if, if you're not logged in and you're not in the auth group, the user is not signed in and the initial segment is not in the auth group, then I redirect them to the login page. Else, if they are logged in, then I redirect them to the tabs page. And, and I'll go into more detail what the tabs home is. And then here, these are just the um, values that this effect is dependent on. Here, if I don't have a navigation key, I'm just writing loading on the screen. And so that's what I have going on inside my index.tsx. All right, so let's go down the login route. So if, if, if you're not logged in and you're not in the auth group and I send you to login, then let's come over here. And where is my login? This is my login route. And then inside my login route, I'm not gonna touch on the styling or anything like that. But, um, well, well, actually, let me go back. Let's talk about our base layout for this top, for this app directory. And so we have our base layout here, which is underscore layout file. 
and in this underscore layout file, this is where I was playing with the fonts loaded stuff. I'll go into that a little bit more in a, maybe in another video. I didn't get that deep into it. I'm basically saying the layout for this first app folder is just a stack. And the head, there's no header being shown, as you can see here, because I'm on the login page. And it's just a stack because all I have here is just my index page. So that's all it needs to show. So when we go into my auth segment here, you can see that it's going to let, because there's no layout, it's going to leverage this first layout here that was provided. Is that correct? So when I go into my auth route here, here's my login page. And here's my create account page. Create account page clearly is a little more complex, but let's just go over the login page first. And this is just regular React Native. We're using the stack screen option to deal with the title of the page. Well, let me go to my login page. To deal with the title of the page. And what else do we have here? The on press. So what I'm doing here is when you click the login page, I'm just assigning login into true, and then I'm sending the user to tabs.home, which will send them into this tabs route. And we'll, we'll circle back to that when we talk about tabs. If they, that's interesting, this shouldn't be true, but uh, when you click the create account, let me log out again. When you click the create account, it navigates you to this create account page. There's really nothing going on inside of here. It's just kind of a placeholder with some code that I stole from another um, React Native application that I have that assumes you enter all your information and then yeah, this logged in should be true, either. this should be false. But like I said, this is just a placeholder page. As you can see, it's not completely implemented yet. I only have a cancel button. You'd want to have a create account button here also and then take the appropriate action. But on cancel, we just come back here. So now let's see. So as I said, when I create, click on the login, um, go back to my login screen. When I click on the login and it's going to set my state to logged in and it's going to replace my current route with this tabs.home. So let's go inside of this tabs. And then this tabs.home. So the tabs has a layout. And inside this tabs directory, the layout contains the tab information. So it's going to render this. Let's go there. And let me move myself over here. So we have this tab element at the top level. And then inside of it are the two screens that make up the tabs. And by me saying, take me to tabs home, it's going to open up this route. And this route has its own layout also, which is also a stack. And since I'm using a modal inside of this stack, I have this modal embedded right here inside of the stack so that I can call the modal and present it. But these two other pages, this index page and this details page, are inside of this stack that we've defined here in this layout. And the index page is what gets called when you just call tabs.home. It will render the index page. And the index page is what we're seeing now, where we have these two links, the detail and the new entry. And notice that they both are child, they're child routes because we need to put the slash home in front of it to take us to the details page. And then they go back. Let's look at the details. There's nothing magical there. Just a regular page with the button to go back. And then the index page. Um, with, with Expo Router, they have navigation-based modals. So as you can see here, to present the modal, I'm just going to the route home slash new entry modal. And if we go back to our layout, we can see this is our stack. And we can see it's file based. Here's my actual modal, my new, my new entry modal. And there's a lot of stuff in here, but um, this was pretty much copied directly from the documentation. I just wanted to get it running inside of a file. 
And so that's that route. And like I said, the big thing here really are these layouts. The layouts are crucial to understanding how to put all this together. And that's why I kind of wanted to create a sample app for me to use as a reference. Um, so here's a second tab is the settings and it has its own layout and it's just a stack. So basically what that means is that once I switch to this tab, I have a stack and I could um, just do your normal navigation where you have a parent and you push down the child and go back up all inside this settings stack separate from the home stack. So if I go to this home stack and I go to details, you can see when I go to the settings stack, different and when I go back to home I'm still here because they're two completely separate navigation stacks um, and then once again with settings if I, you can see that if we go back to home layout settings is just a route here um, and we're defaulting to the index route and once again, once you get to once you get to the actual route, there's nothing new. This is just normal React Native. All the magic is in really the layout. The layout is kind of controlling everything that's going on, and that's the big difference um, from what you've seen before. Um, like I said, this was uh, pretty simple and pretty straightforward, but I just kind of wanted to walk through some of the code to explain what was going on. I will put a link to the uh, GitHub repo. So you can um, kind of step through the video and look at the source code yourself. So hopefully someone finds this helpful. Leave me some comments and feedback if you want me to kind of go further with this. There's things that didn't seem clear. But uh, thanks for stopping by, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.